Yeah, 
service. Um, much has been in both English and in Spanish. Last year about this time, uh, we did one bilingual service. Uh, I preached and Jimmy interpreted. Uh, today we have a special speaker. He is no stranger to us. He and his wife, Savannah, are here with us today to preach the word of the Lord this morning. They're going to spend some of the afternoon with us at the picnic. We're so glad that Hector Robles is here. He is now located, he and his wife located in South Florida, helping in a great church there. And uh, this weekend, it's our privilege to have him. And so without any further ado we're, ado, we're asking Brother Hector Robles. Also, Jimmy's coming to translate. We're going to have a great, great word from the Lord today. Amen. Praise God. God bless him in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Señor le bendiga esta mañana. Amen. It's an honor to be with you this morning. Es un honor estar con ustedes esta mañana. My wife being here with me, with you all, this is a home for us. Mi esposa y yo estando con ustedes, este es un lugar como una casa para nosotros. You folks are family for us, and we bless you in Jesus. Name. Ustedes son familia para nosotros y damos un, una bendición en el nombre de Jesús. Amen. Amen. This is going to be pretty fun. I love Brother Jimmy Va a ser divertido. because uh, I, I have translated for myself, so now hearing a different voice, you're going to have to be patient with me this morning. Para mí mismo, pero escuchando otra voz detrás de mí, va a tener que ser paciente conmigo. So let us stand together before we start the reading of the word this morning. Si nos podemos colocar en pie para la palabra de Dios. Let us turn to John chapter 12, verse 20. En Juan capítulo 12, versículo 20. Bump your neighbor and say, hurry up. Dile a tu vecino, rápido. John chapter 12, verse 20. The Bible says, and there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same came, therefore, to Philip. Somebody say Philip. Philip. Which, was of, which was of Bethsaida of Galilee and desired him, saying, Sir, we would see Jesus... Philip cometh and telleth Andrew, somebody say Andrew, and again Andrew and Philip tell Jesus. Había de ciertos griegos entre los que habían subido a adorar en la fiesta, estos pues se acercaron a Felipe, que era de Bethsaida de Galilea, y le rogaron diciendo, Señor, quisiéramos ver a Jesús. Felipe fue a, y se lo dijo a Andrés, entonces Andrés y Felipe se lo dijeron a Jesús. This morning... I believe the Lord wants to speak to us on the red tape of the religious. Esta mañana creo que Dios quiere hablarnos la cinta roja del religioso. Look at the person next to you and say, the red tape of the religious. Dígale a tu vecino la cinta roja del religioso. Praise God. Well, let us pray one more time together. Before we pray together, I want to say I give honor to your pastor, Pastor Hires. He has, such, he has been such a voice of stability in the life of my wife and I. Le quiero dar honor a su pastor, Pastor Hires. Él ha sido una voz de estabilidad para la vida y mi matrimonio. And we give you honor, Pastor Hires, this morning. We y thank damos you. honor esta mañana, Pastor. And we mean that from the bottom of our hearts. Lo decimos del, de nuestro corazón. Let's pray together, church. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your grace, mercy, and peace. Gracias, Señor, por tu gracia, misericordia, paz. Lord, we gather together in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to see you glorified, magnified, revealed, manifested in our midst because this is all about you, Jesus. We are your people, Lord, and we want to exalt you and see you, Lord God, here this morning so that we could come to know you better, Lord, and that you could come closer to us as we embrace you, Lord Jesus, and open our hearts to you. We lift our voices to you, Jesus. We lift our hands to you, God. And we bless you, Lord Jesus. We honor you, Lord God. We bless you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's clap our hands together. Si podemos aplaudir nuestras manos. And lift up Jesus' name. Y levantar el nombre de Jesús. Hallelujah. There's praise this morning. Alabemos a Dios esta mañana. In the assembly of the saints. En la asamblea de los hermanos. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. As you're seated, you can bump your neighbor one more time and say the red tape of the religion. La cinta roja del religioso. Praise the Lord. Well, how many remember cuántos se acuerdan when you first became exposed to the gospel? Cuando primero tuvo un encuentro con el evangelio. I was a Junior in high school at the time. Era un junior in high school. When I first got exposed to the real gospel. Cuando tuve un encuentro con el evangelio real. And I remember when I attended that Pentecostal church. Y me acuerdo cuando fui primera vez a esa iglesia pentecostal. I started seeing people lay hands on people. Vi que la gente imponía manos sobre otros. I saw people starting to get real comfortable in praise and worship. La gente estaba muy cómoda en la adoración y las alabanzas. And when they got more comfortable, y cuando estaban más cómodos, I got less comfortable. Yo, mi comodidad se fue, no estaba cómodo en esa situación. And the, the, the louder I heard people pray, y cuando ellos levantaban sus voces en oración, and the louder I heard them worship, y mientras levantaban sus voces en adoración, the more quiet I, I felt like I wanted to become. Lo más que yo me, me callaba en esa situación. But there was something about it, pero había algo en eso, that helped me to quickly adjust, que me ayudó a ajustar, that all of a sudden, que de repente, through all the noise, through all the praise, and through all the worship. De por en medio de toda la huya, la adoración y, y las alabanzas. I began to see Jesus in a closer way. Empecé a ver a Jesús en una manera más cercana. And when I saw Jesus in a closer way, y cuando vi a Jesús en, en más cercano, I wanted to lift my voice. Yo quería levantar mi voz. I wanted to lift my hands. Yo quería levantar mis manos. I wanted to move out of my seat Yo a little quería bit. Salirme de mi silla. And then after that, y después de eso, nobody could keep me back from getting closer to nadie Jesus. Me fue a amarrar a esa silla cuando me acercaba a Jesús. How many remember when you first got exposed to the gospel? ¿Cuántos se pueden acordar la Primera vez que tuve un encuentro con el Evangelio. It's like when you first fell in love. Es como la primera vez que te enamoraste. You, you forgot what it means to have a little bit of cordiality. Se olvidó todo lo, lo normal de su vida. You got outside of your comfort zone. Salió de su, su área de comodidad. You got outside of your convenience. Salió de su conveniencia. And you might have spent a little bit too much money. Y de pronto gastó demasiado dinero. <laughs> well, what's interesting to me, lo que es interesante para mí, about the disciples of Jesus, de los discípulos de Jesucristo, is that when they first got exposed to the Lord Jesus es Christ, cuando ellos en, con, tuvieron un encuentro con Jesucristo, and Jesus had been watching them, y Jesús ya llevaba tiempo viéndolos, and he gets to the point where he says, y, "Leave your nets and follow me." Y él llega al punto y dice, "Deje sus redes y sígueme a mí." They said. All right, ellos dijeron sí. There was a sense of abandonment or full commitment. Había un 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 sentimiento de de abandonar todo lo que tenían 
y, y entregarse a Jesús. They, there wasn't any red tape attached to their exposure to the gospel. No había cinta roja que los estaba amarrando en su encuentro con Jesucristo. They said, if Jesus is calling me, ellos decían, si Jesús me está llamando, I'm gonna follow. Yo lo voy a seguir. If Jesus has come to me, si Jesús vino hacia mí, I'm gonna follow. Yo lo voy a seguir. This is the gospel that's preached here at Pentecostals of the Lamb. Este es el evangelio que es predicado en esta iglesia. That if you want to know Jesus, si usted quiere conocer a Jesús, there's no red tape that's going to be put on your faith. No hay cinta roja que vamos a poner sobre su fe. If you want to be healed, si usted quiere ser sanado, nobody's going to put red tape on your faith this morning. Nadie va a poner cinta roja en su fe esta if, mañana. If you need a miracle from God, si usted necesita un milagro de Dios, nobody's going to put red tape on your faith this Nadie morning. Nadie va a poner cinta roja sobre su if fe. If you want to stand and worship and praise the name of Jesus, si usted se quiere colocar en pie y adorar a Dios, nobody's going to put red tape on the Nadie gospel va a poner this morning. Cinta roja sobre usted. How many praise the Lord this morning? Ayúdeme a adorar a Dios esta mañana. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh yeah! The disciples, when they first got exposed to Jesus, los discípulos primero cuando primero tuvieron un encuentro con Jesús, they had that sense of abandonment. Tuvieron ese sentimiento de abandonar todo. But after a little while, pero después de un poco tiempo, you start getting comfortable with what you get exposed vemos to. Vemos que ellos eh, tuvieron un un sentimiento de comodidad. You you get familiar with what you have a privilege to have access se to. Se familiarizaron con lo que ellos tenían. And so after a little while you find yourself at John chapter 12. Entonces después de un tiempo uno se encuentra en Juan capítulo 12. Jesus had spent three years with his disciples. Jesús ya lleva tres años con sus discípulos. And time is closing in on the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Y se está acercando el tiempo de la crucifixión de Jesucristo. Jesus had worked miracles amongst the multitude. Jesús ha hecho milagros entre las multitudes. Jesus had gone from city to city to city. Jesús ha ido de ciudad a ciudad a ciudad. He had gone into other regions that other people had not gone to. El ha ido a diferentes regiones de, de, a, a donde nunca ha ido. The Jews had heard of Jesus. Los judíos escucharon de Jesús. The Samaritans had heard of Jesus. Los samaritanos escucharon de Jesús. Now it was the Jews eran los judíos that had that religious background in their life. Que tenía esa, esa cultura y tradición religiosa en su vida. They knew that there was a coming Messiah. Ellos sabían que había un Mesías que había de llegar. And, and, and they had heard of Jesus. Y ellos han escuchado de Jesús. Now, the Samaritans, ahora los samaritanos, they had a mixed religious culture. Tenían una cultura religiosa mezclada. And there, they had some Jewish influence. Tenían Parte de influencia judía. And some non-Jewish influence. Influencia que no era judía. And so they also heard of Jesus. Entonces ellos también escucharon de Jesús. And then we start seeing that Gentiles or completely non-Jewish people. Y ahora vemos que gentiles que son gente que no son judíos. They got exposed to Jesus. Ellos escucharon de Jesús. And so we read in John chapter 12. Entonces leemos en Juan capítulo 12. The Bible says this. La Biblia dice esto. And there were certain Greeks among them. Había ciertos griegos entre los que estaban ahí. Now, that word Greeks right there in the Greek. Esa palabra griega en el griego. These were fully non-Jews. Estos no eran judíos. But they wanted to worship. Pero querían adorar. They didn't have a religious background. No tenían un crecimiento religioso. But they heard that Jesus was near. Pero escucharon que Jesús estaba cerca. And they came up to worship. Y ellos subieron para adorar. That's why it doesn't matter where you came from. Por eso no importa 
de a dónde vienes. It doesn't matter who your father was or who your mother no was or who they weren't. Quién es su padre, quién es su madre o quién no es. It doesn't matter if you grew up Catholic or not. No importa si creció católico o no. Pentecostal or not. Pentecostal o no. Baptist or not. Bautista o no. You might have come from a drug addicted home. Quizás vino de una casa un un hogar de lleno de adicciones. You might have come from an abusive home. Quizás vino de un hogar de abuso. But God knows how to get you to a place of worship. Pero Dios sabe cómo traerte a un lugar de adoración. If you're hungry for Jesus, si tiene hambre por Jesús, there's no red tape that can hold you back. No hay cinta roja que te va a atar. If you want to get closer to Jesus, si te quieres acercar a Jesús, there's no red tape that can hold you no from knowing him. No hay cinta roja que te está atando. How many are hungry in this place this morning? Hambre en let's, este lugar? let's lift our hands and just lift up his hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Exercise your liberty. Oh. Praise God. Yeah, he's in the house this morning. He's in the house this morning. He's in the house this morning. Praise God. Praise God. So you get a little bit comfortable. Entonces, no, nos acomodamos un poquito. After a little while of being exposed to Jesus. Después que llevamos tiempo caminando con Jesús. You, you appreciate what you've been exposed to. Se aprecia el encuentro que tuvo. But you can get a little bit protective. Pero a veces usted se puede convertir en una persona protectiva. You get a little bit defensive because in sincerity, se puede convertir en una persona defensiva. You, you appreciate what you have. Porque en sinceridad usted aprecia lo que usted tiene. But the disciples got to this point. Los discípulos llegaron a este punto. That when Greeks came to worship, que cuando los griegos vinieron a adorar, the same came therefore to Philip. Vemos que Felipe vino which was of Bethsaida of Galilee, and the Greeks desired him, saying, de Bethsaida de Galilea, y los griegos desearon diciendo, Sir, we would see Jesus. Señor, queremos ver a Jesucristo. Do you hear the cry of your neighbor saying, Usted puede escuchar el, el lloro de tu vecino. I want to see Jesus. Diciendo, yo quiero ver Jesús. Do you hear the cry of your family member saying, Usted puede escuchar el clamor de su familiar diciendo, I want to see Jesus. Yo quiero ver Jesús. Folks, let's not lie to ourselves. Hermanos, no nos podemos mentir. We're coming into 2024. Estamos entrando al año 2024. It's an election year. Es un, es un año de elecciones. The world doesn't want to see more Hector Robles. Le, el mundo no quiere ver a Hector Robles. The world doesn't want to see more Jimmy Rivera. El, el mundo no quiere ver Jimmy Rivera. The world doesn't want to see more Joe Biden. El mundo no quiere ver Joe Biden. And the world doesn't want to see more Donald Trump. Y el mundo no quiere ver más Donald Trump. Who they need to see? Ellos tienen que ver. His name is. Jesus. El nombre de él es Jesús. How many want to see Jesus in your community? Jesús? Let's lift up that name of Jesus Levante right now. nombre hoy. Clap your hands unto the Lord. Aplaude sus manos al Hallelujah. Señor. Hallelujah. Yeah. Listen, folks. Hermanos, escúcheme. There's something in you. Hay algo dentro de usted. That God has put in you. Que Dios ha puesto en ti. That he's trusted you with. Y ha confiado que usted tiene esto. That when the Greeks want to worship. Que cuando los griegos quieren adorar. Or those people who don't know Jesus want to worship. O esa gente que no conoce a Dios quieren adorar. God's going to have you on their radar. Dios te va a tener a usted en la vista de ellos. God's going to supernaturally position you in the intersection of their trajectory. Dios te va a poner en, 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 el, en el camino de ellos, yeah. en la intersección de, de la vida de ellos. God's going to have you supernaturally, divinely appointed to meet them. Dios te va a usar a usted para, para encontrarse con ellos en una manera sobrenatural. And when God trusts you with that appointment. Y cuando Dios te con, tiene esa confianza en ti para esa cita. I didn't say 
if he trusts you. Yo no dije si él va a confiar en ti. I said when he trusts Pero you. Pero cuando él confíe en ti. Don't you dare put red tape on the gospel. No se atreve a poner cinta roja sobre el evangelio. Don't you dare put red tape on their faith. No se atreve a poner cinta roja sobre la fe de ellos. If all they know is Jesus, but they don't know any books of the Bible. Si ellos solo conocen a Jesús y ningún otro libro en la Biblia. You can still disciple them. Usted puede discipularlos. You can still lay hands on Usted them. Usted puede imponer manos. You can still pray for them. Usted puede orar por ellos. You can still invite them to a church Usted service. Puede invitar a un servicio. And you can lead them to know who Jesus Usted is. Los puede guiar a conocer a Jesús. It's interesting to me. Es interesante. That they came to Philip. Que ellos se acercaron a Felipe. And then Philip doesn't go to Jesus. Y Felipe no va hacia Jesús. In fact. Philip doesn't bring the Greeks with him. Me, vemos que Felipe ni trae los griegos con él. And so. We got Jesus over here. Tenemos a Jesucristo que está aquí. I'm a Greek. Él es un griego. This is Philip. Yo soy Felipe. And I go to Philip and say, I want to see Jesus. Y los griegos vienen a Felipe y dicen, quiero ver a Jesús. And Philip, y Felipe, leaves me where I am. Me deja donde yo estoy. He turns around. Me and doy he, la vuelta. And he goes to Jesus. Y voy a Jesucristo. And I've still got this gap. Y todavía tengo este espacio. And the perception that I have. Y la percepción que él tiene. Is that I'm not good enough to get close to Jesus. Es que yo no soy suficiente bueno para acercarme a Jesús. Be careful. Hay que tener cuidado. That when people come to you. Que cuando gente se acerca a usted. To know Jesus. A conocer a Jesús. Come on, don't forget the first time you got exposed no to Jesus. No se olvide la primera vez que usted tuvo un you encuentro con Dios. You just wanted to feel his love. Usted solo quería sentir el amor. You just wanted to feel his peace. Solo quería sentir la paz. Don't create an unnecessary gap. No crea un, un espacio innecesario between the lost entre los perdidos and Jesus. y Jesucristo What Philip should have done lo que Felipe tenía que hacer was, Come with me. es venga conmigo I'll show you te who voy Jesus a mostrar is. quién es Jesús Come with me. Venga conmigo. I'll show you what the Bible says. Te voy a mostrar lo que dice la palabra. I want to say this this morning. Quiero decir esto esta mañana. You don't need to know the Bible back to front and front to back. Usted no tiene que conocer la Biblia desde el principio al fin y el fin al principio. To teach a Bible study. Para enseñar un estudio bíblico. You don't need to know every verse and reference of the new birth salvation. Usted no tiene que memorizar todas las bíblicas de referencias del nuevo nacimiento. Though that would help you. Aunque eso te ayude. Judah, but that's not necessary. Pero no es necesario to share your testimony. Para compartir su testimonio. Don't put red tape on the gospel. No ponga cinta roja sobre el evangelio. Just share who Jesus Solo is. Solo comparte quién es Jesús. That's what God is bringing his church back to. Es lo que Dios está llamando la iglesia. He's removing the red tape of the religious. Está removiendo la cinta roja del religioso. Now God's put something in you. Ahora Dios ha puesto algo en ti. You may not even recognize Usted it. Usted quizás no lo reconoce. But Philip's name is not Jewish. Pero Felipe, el nombre de Felipe no es un nombre judío. Philip's name is Greek. El nombre de Felipe es griego. Andrew's name is not Jewish. El nombre de Andrés no es judío. But it's Greek. Pero es griego. And you don't realize. Y usted no se da cuenta. Sometimes. A veces. That some, there's something that people see in you. Que hay algo que gente ve en ti. They might see a gap between them and Jesus. Ellos quizás ven un espacio entre ellos y Jesucristo. But they see you. Pero te ven a usted. And they see something they want. Y ven algo que quieren. They might feel a little bit insecure about getting close to Jesus. Quizás están inseguros acercarse a Jesús. They might be a little scared of Jesus. Quizás tienen un poquito de miedo de Jesús. They might think the Holy Ghost is from a horror movie. Quizás piensan que el Espíritu Santo es de una película de horror. They might have watched too many horror movies Quizás vieron muchas películas. and they know demons are real y saben que demonios son real. and so they might be scared that the Holy Spirit is real y quizás piensan que el Espíritu Santo también es real. but they see you Pero te ven a usted. and they say I could talk to him. Dicen, Yo puedo hablar con él. I could talk to her. Yo puedo hablar con ella. I, I, I can stop them in the neighborhood as I'm going for a walk Yo los puedo parar en el camino. I, I, I could I could 
stop and ask them how their weekend went. Yo los puedo parar y preguntar cómo está su semana. I might have found it I might find it hard to pray by myself. Quizás es difícil yo orar yo personalmente. But I, I can ask them to pray for me. Pero yo les puedo preguntar a ellos que oren por mí. And when that moment comes, y cuando ese momento viene, you better let loose. Hay que desatar and not put any red tape y no poner ninguna cinta roja on the gospel of Jesus en el Evangelio de Jesucristo. Yeah. Philip came to Andrew. Felipe vino a Andrés. And Andrew and Philip came to Jesus. Y Andrés y Felipe se acercaron a Jesús. Ah, we don't need more boards and committees telling us how to share the gospel. No necesitamos más comités diciéndonos cómo compartir el evangelio. We have everything we need to preach the gospel in Southwest Volusia County right here. Tenemos todo para predicar el evangelio aquí en este condado, en este lugar. I want you to look at the person next to you. Mira a la persona que tiene a su lado. And say this county. Y diga este condado belongs to Jesus. Le pertenece a Jesucristo. And this county y este condado wants to see Jesus. Quiere ver Jesucristo. And there's no time to put red tape on the gospel. Y no hay tiempo para poner cinta roja en el evangelio. Because the devil thinks that all it takes porque el enemigo piensa lo único que se toma sometimes a veces to stop a church para impedir una iglesia is to put red tape on the pulpit. Es poner cinta roja sobre el púlpito. And there's a lot of churches who've let the devil y hay muchas iglesias que han dejado que el enemigo put red tape on the pulpit ponga cinta roja sobre el púlpito and say, don't preach that, that makes me uncomfortable. Y dice, no predica eso, eso don't, no don't, don't preach that, that, that challenges my sin. No predica eso, eso reta mi pecado. Uh, don't, don't, don't get too close to my marriage problems. No se acerca mucho a mis problemas matrimoniales. Be because that makes me uncomfortable. Porque eso me hace incómodo. And so we've got a lot of preaching nowadays. Porque ahora tenemos mucha predicación. That's not really preaching. Que no es predicación. It's soothsaying. Es simplemente uh, ahí diciéndote lo que usted quiere escuchar. Yeah, it's just tickling ears. Solo está diciendo lo que usted quiere escuchar. And the devil's stopped some people. Y el enemigo ha parado algunas personas. Putting red tape on pulpits. Poniendo cinta roja en el púlpito. Come on, some of us came from those churches. Algunos otros hemos venido de esas iglesias. My parents came from a church like that. Mis padres vinieron de una iglesia así. And thank God. Y gracias a Dios. It didn't reach me. No alcanzó mi vida. But, pero, Satan puts red tape on the pulpit. El enemigo pone cinta roja en el púlpito. Because he's really trying to put red tape somewhere else. Porque él realmente quiere poner cinta roja en otro lugar. What he's after, lo que él está buscando, is what God's after. Es lo que Dios está buscando. And he really wants to actually put, y él realmente quiere poner, red tape on the pew. Quiere poner cinta roja aquí en la silla. Because if the devil can put red tape on the pew, porque si el enemigo puede poner cinta roja aquí en la congregación, and make you feel like you can't share your testimony, y hacerte sentir que usted no puede compartir su testimonio, and make you feel like you can't lay hands on the sick, y hacerte sentir que usted no puede imponer manos sobre los enfermos, and make you feel like you don't know enough to share the gospel, y hacerte sentir que usted no sabe lo suficiente para compartir el evangelio, and make you feel like somebody else is going to teach the Bible study, y hacerte sentir que otra persona puede enseñar el estudio bíblico. And make you feel like somebody else will invite somebody else to y service. sentir que otra persona puede invitar a otra persona al servicio. That him putting red tape on the pew. Que él poniendo cinta roja ahí en la silla. Stops laborers from being active in God's harvest. Puede impedir a los obreros involucrarse en la mies. Jesus did not say to his disciples. Jesús no dio a sus discípulos. Pray therefore that the Lord of the harvest Ore que el Señor de la cosecha would put more pulpits in the field. Pueden poner más pulpitos en la cosecha. This is a discipling church. Esa es una iglesia que discipula. But Jesus did not say, Pero Jesús no dijo, put more pulpits in the field. Pongamos pulpitos en la cosecha. Build more barns in the field. Hay que construir más, más granjeros en el campo. Oh yeah. That's a good one, Granjeros. I, don't, I wouldn't remember that one. <laughs> He's good. 
He didn't say more pulpits in the field. Él no dio más pulpitos en el campo. He didn't say more platforms on the field. Él no dio más plataformas en el campo. He said, pray ye therefore Él dio ore that the Lord of the harvest que el Señor de la cosecha would send forth que envíe más somebody say laborers. Alguien diga obreros. Somebody say it again, laborers. Alguien diga obreros. Laborers into his harvest. Obreros a su mies. And as we go out into the harvest, y mientras que salimos a la mies, the church has got to have a revival. La iglesia tiene que tener avivamiento of an attitude. De una actitud. There's going to be no red tape on my faith. Que no va a haber cinta roja sobre mi fe. My pastor's praying for me. Mi pastor está orando por mí. There's no red tape at the pulpit at my church. No hay cinta roja en el púlpito en esta iglesia. There's no red tape at the pew of Pentecostal of the land. No hay cinta roja en las bancas de los pentecostales de the land. And so I'm going to go teach a Bible study. Entonces voy a ir I'm going to go share my testimony. Voy a compartir el evangelio. And when I'm walking through the grocery store, y cuando entro al mercado, I'm going to say thank you Jesus a little bit louder. Voy a decir gracias Dios un poquito más I'm going to lift my hands at the restaurant praying for my food just a little bit higher. Voy a levantar mis manos en el restaurante un poquito más alto. I'm just going to say in the restaurant amen a little bit louder. Voy a decir en el restaurante amen un poquito más duro. Because when you do that, que cuando usted hace eso, you say I'm removing the red tape. Usted dice estoy removiendo la cinta I, roja. I, I, I'm done with this. Estoy terminado con esto. I, I, I'm not gonna put, I'm not gonna do with to, to somebody else. No, ya será otras personas. What I don't want done to me. Lo que no quiero que gente haga hacia mí. How many believe that this morning? Cuántos creen eso esta mañana? Let's stand together. Si nos podemos colocar en pie. This morning, Esta mañana, I really believe creo realmente, that there's going to be a baptism of the Spirit que haber un bautismo del Espíritu, to be witnesses. A ser testigos. That's laying down our life Eso es entregando nuestras vidas, to share who Jesus is. A compartir quién es Jesucristo. So if you want to be a part si usted ser parte of removing the red tape from the religion this morning, de removiendo la cinta roja de la religión I want you to come mañana. up to the front with faith, grab somebody with you if you want, and say, we're going to be a part of what God Yo is quiero doing. Que usted pase aquí al altar, alguien de la mano y dice, vamos a ser parte de lo que Dios quiere hacer. And as you're coming up, I want to share one story. Y mientras que usted se acerca, quiero compartir una historia. I was driving my wife a little bit crazy last night. Me está enloqueciendo a mi esposa un poquito anoche. Looking for this red tape. Buscando esta cinta roja. We went to uh, the the five dollar store. Fuimos a la tienda de cinco dólares. And I walked in there. Y entré. And I walked out pretty quickly. Y salí rápidamente. And there was no red tape there. Y no había cinta roja. And then we stopped by a Dollar Tree. Y después fuimos a otra tienda. I'm telling you what. Y te voy a decir, There's a lot of cool stuff at Dollar Tree. Hay muchas cosas <laughs> chévere en ese lugar. It's super cool. Well, I found this red tape there. Encontré esta cinta roja ahí. And when I walk up to the counter, y cuando me acerqué al, al a pagar, there is this big, bald, white dude with tattoos and black finger, uh, black paint on his fingernails. A lot to translate. I'm sorry. <laughs> Había un hombre grande con tatuajes y tenía a pintura pintura en sus uñas en sus uñas negra gracias mi hermano he was real intimidating man he could have been your brother like real strong intimidating like big dude se parecía como estos muchachos aquí muy fuertes yeah it was awesome it was awesome and I, I walked up to him with the with the paint with the tape y yo me acerqué a él con la cinta and I said hey bro y yo le dije hey bro he, he was a real he was a really cool guy, honestly. And I said, hey man, uh, I want to buy this. And he goes, Oh, well, I was gonna recommend another one. And he goes, Um, well, uh, what are you using it for? Uh, he goes, Did you forget a did you forget a streamer for a party? I was like, No, dude. I I only grabbed, grabbed one. I said, I got one. And he goes, um, well, I'm using it for an illustration, I told him. He goes, for college? And I'm thinking to myself, God, no, I don't want to go back to college. No, no quiero volver a eso. And then I said, I'm using it for, 
a message. Y le dije, le estoy, lo estoy usando para un mensaje. Because too many people put red tape on the gospel. Porque mucha gente pone, pone cinta roja en el evangelio. And hold people back from knowing Jesus. Y aptan a la gente a acercarse a Jesús. And you could tell he hadn't had a, back, a church background. Y se, se puede dar cuenta que él no tenía un background de, de la iglesia. Because when I started bringing up the gospel. Porque cuando yo empecé a hablar del evangelio. He, he didn't know where to start. Él, él, él no sabía dónde empezar. But let me tell you something. Pero yo te quiero decir algo. That we've got to take the red tape off not just ourselves que tenemos que quitar esta cinta roja no solo nosotros mismos but take the red tape off each other pero hay que quitar la cinta roja sobre los otros you can share your testimony usted sí puede compartir el you can, testimonio you can teach that bible study usted sí puede enseñar ese estudio bíblico we're going to have a baptism in this morning va a haber un bautismo esta mañana twofold va a ser dos one for ourselves primeramente para nosotros and one toward another y la otra hacia el otro. Because we can't just be convinced that God wants to partner with us individually. Porque nosotros no solo nos podemos convencer que Dios quiere ayudarnos individualmente. We've got to be convinced that God wants to use us together. Tenemos que estar convencidos que Dios nos quiere usar juntos. And when we're convinced of that, y cuando estamos convencidos de eso, two are better than one. The Bible dos says. Son mejor que uno, dice la Biblia. And a threefold cord is not easily broken. And so this morning, entonces esta mañana, God's not just going to baptize us with the power of the Spirit. Dios no solo nos va a bautizar con el poder de su Espíritu. He's going to baptize us with the unity of the faith. Él nos va a bautizar con la unidad de la fe. And say we're going to do this together. Y vamos a decir lo vamos a hacer juntos. I'm going to participate with what the church is doing. Voy a participar con lo que Dios está haciendo en esta iglesia. I'm going to put my hands on deck. Voy a poner mi mano en 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 la en la mies. And, and, and if you're if you're going to make somebody a little bit uncomfortable, say, Hey, go with me and teach that Bible study. Y si alguien no está cómodo, invítelos a enseñarlos de ese estudio bíblico. Get a little bold and take the take the red tape off your sister and brother. Hay que quitar esa cinta roja de su hermano y su hermana. So let's lift our hands together this morning. Let's all pray together with your own faith. I want there to be a river of the Spirit flowing here this morning. Let's start asking the Lord to cleanse us from every false mindset. I want you to close your eyes and just focus on Jesus for the next few moments. And say, Lord, I have been insecure. Lord, I have hesitated. Lord, I, I have been a little bit unbelieving. But, but Lord this morning Pero esta mañana, Señor, I'm taking the red tape off myself estoy quitando la cinta roja sobre mi fe. and I'm asking for your crimson stream of blood y te estoy pidiendo que tu sangre preciosa remove that red tape off my life remueve esa cinta roja de mi vida so that I can walk para que yo pueda caminar in the calling you have for en my el life llamado que usted tiene para mi vida. with the church you put me here in Pentecostals Aquí of the en Lamb esta iglesia. Lord I come before you this morning and ask that you would forgive me Señor me acerco esta mañana pidiendo que usted me perdone that you would cleanse me que usted me limpie that Lord I receive your love right now Señor recibo su amor ahora to get past myself para llegar más allá de mí mismo to tear off the red tape para romper la cinta roja and see myself teaching that Bible study este see myself praying for that neighbor Para poder verme por mi see myself sharing information Para about the me, church Para que me puedo ver el see myself bringing somebody with me to service a mí mismo, a a la see myself having dinner with somebody and paying for their meal con alguien y compartiendo mi vida con ellos and telling them God bless you y diciéndoles Dios te bendiga the Lord loves you el Dios te ama God is calling you Dios te está llamando and I'm here to tell you who Jesus estoy is estoy aquí para decirte quién es Jesús I'm here to show you who Jesus is estoy aquí para mostrarte quién es Jesús I'm not going to put red tape between you and Jesus no estoy aquí para poner cinta roja entre usted y Jesús but I'm here to help you get closer to Jesus pero estoy aquí para acercarte a Jesús come on let's pray in that vein right now oremos en ese mental en esa mente I want you to start in your mind seeing yourself a use su mente y vete a ti mismo and tear off that red tape
rompiendo esa cinta roja tear down that mindset derribe esa mentalidad say that right now I rebuke this insecurity diga ahora yo reprendo esta inseguridad I rebuke that anxiety yo reprendo esta ansiedad I rebuke that hesitation yo reprendo esa duda I will lay hands on the sick yo si voy a poner manos sobre los enfermos I will share the gospel si voy a compartir el evangelio I will invite people to come to show si voy a invitar a gente a esta iglesia yeah let's pray church Let's pray, church. Ore, iglesia. Let's let the Spirit of the Lord baptize us this morning. Lord, we pray your kingdom come. Come on, I want you to close your eyes and grab a hold of His presence. Yeah. Come on, all over this place, close your eyes and focus on His presence. Don't let yourself get distracted by what you see. Don't let your own eyes be red tape for your faith. Let your spirit get connected with God's spirit. And let the kingdom of God be manifested in your life. Come on, church. By the authority of the word of God and the power of the name of Jesus. I rebuke every adversary who's been sowing sin in your mind. And I uproot in the name of the Lord Jesus that insecurity, that unbelief. And we rebuke it in Jesus' name. We cast it out of your life in Jesus' name. We cast it out of your mind in Jesus' name. We bind it in Jesus' name. And be loosed to receive the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. I want you to start declaring over your neighbor, over your family member, over your own life, over your neighborhood. I will reach, I will share, I will show, and I will tell who Jesus is. Empowered by the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Let the Spirit of God not just be on you, but let it get in you. Let the Spirit of God not just get over you, but work inside of you. Come on, church. We're pushing. Push back. Like this, that spirit of religion. of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Every insecurity be ejected in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Don't let there be red tape on your faith to be healed. Be healed. Receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Remove the red tape off of your miracle and receive it. Somebody's going to pray in the flow of the Spirit right now because you're pushing back, not just against yourself. You've got to have a re-exposure and a re-encounter and a refreshing and a renewal of the Holy Ghost this morning. Come on, be refreshed. You feel dried up. You've been feeling withered in your faith, but let the Lord refresh you. Every day is loose. God, we declare your kingdom is Come on, step into the waters. Step into the waters. They're being troubled this morning. Don't miss out on what God is doing. Don't miss out.
this out and put red tape on the move of God. Mountains have to move. Every chain is loose. God, we declare your kingdom is here. Everyone will see. Fall down at your feet. Yeah, come on. There are people individually receiving it this morning. Backsliders come back. We're going to see renewal and restoration. Yeah, come on. Come on, church. Two are better than one. Two are better than one. Two are better than one. We're going to tear down strongholds, principalities, and powers, and cast down imaginations. We're going to see this thing. We're going to see we're gonna go. Yeah, you're gonna reach that house. You're gonna reach that neighborhood. You're gonna reach your friend. You're gonna reach your family. You're gonna reach your children. You're gonna reach your spouse. You're gonna reach your siblings. You're gonna reach them. You're gonna reach them. You're gonna reach them. of church background holds you back. Don't let that. Don't let your insecurities hold you back. Don't let those tattoos hold you back. Don't let your lack of exposure hold you back. You've been exposed to Jesus and that's all you need. God's chosen you for such a time as this. He's chosen you. You're a royal priesthood and a holy nation. You're precious to God. You're his treasure house. You mean a lot to him. He shed his blood for you. You don't have to hold back. He didn't put red tape for you. So don't put red tape for others. Don't let your economic status hold you back. Don't let the battles that you're going through hold you back. You're here this morning. You came to worship. You might have been a Greek this morning wanting to worship Jesus. But he showed up this morning. And there's no red tape on the gospel. You can know him for yourself. right now let's just bask in his presence right now because sometimes we put red tape on his presence by looking at the clock sometimes we put red tape on his presence by trying to go somewhere else that got this issue right now
Oh yeah. Come on, as you lay your hands next to the person next to you again, I want you to just speak over them. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be filled in Jesus' name. Be strengthened in Jesus' name. Be empowered in Jesus' name. Be strong in Jesus' name. Be enlightened in Jesus' name. You're not by yourself in Jesus' name. I am with you in Jesus' name. We are with you in Jesus' name. Come on, Jesus has told us that he'll never leave us nor forsake us. It's about time we tell each other, I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to forsake you. We're in this kingdom together. We're in this church together. We're in this harvest together. It's about time we say what Jesus said. And we're going to do this together. He's not going to do this with us by himself. We're going to all do this together. Come on, right now, flow with the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Be filled, be free in Jesus' name. Yeah, yeah, just rip it. Just rip that red tape. Just rip that red tape. I know a lot of you this morning, you've been seeing pictures in your mind, pictures in your spirit, and you think, man, that's a little bit over the top for me. That's really uncomfortable. If we only remembered how uncomfortable the cross was to Jesus... We wouldn't make excuses for how uncomfortable we feel when the Spirit's trying to lead us. Folks, the message we stand on is still the same. It's Jesus and Him crucified. And He got uncomfortable for us. And the Pharisees tried putting red tape on Jesus' crucifixion. And they say, just, just black, just ahead and 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 lie on yourself you just take yourself off the cross you don't have to do this our message is still the same that Jesus Christ was crucified for our sins and he didn't hold back for us he didn't hold back for me he didn't hold back for my alcoholic father who used to sell rosaries with prayer cards to Catholic people and make money off of them when he didn't even believe in God. Jesus Christ didn't hold back on my mom who was so religious that she almost became child who's me my mom almost became a nun so whether you're on one extreme or the other Jesus Christ shed his blood and he spread his arms to the east and to the west for all of us and so I want us to all close our eyes in this moment I, 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 I don't ask that just haphazardly for you you to just keep your eyes open. But I, I want you not not in the presence for flesh, not in the presence of flesh for flesh. I want you to do it in the presence of God and his angels. If you're gonna make a commitment to step outside of your comfort zone and participate with what God is doing in this church and through this church, I want you to lift your hands this morning. If God has spoken to you this morning and you're saying, and you feel in your heart, you know what? I'm tired of holding them back. 
I've put red tape on myself. I've put red tape on some other people. But now in your heart this morning, you have repented and you are now thinking to yourself, you know what? I'm, I'm going to step outside of my comfort zone. I'm going to push back against. I'm going to tear apart some red tape in the kingdom of God. And I am going to make a difference. I am going to partner with what God is doing. I want us to not just lift our hands or match our voice to our hands this morning. And I want you to talk to the Lord and say, God, it's different this time. It's different this time. Lord, I'm going to step out. I'm going to be uncomfortable. But Lord, your spirit empowers me. I want us to pray in that vein. And then I'm going to get out of the way. But I want us to pray in that vein. Lord, I'm going to get uncomfortable for you because you got uncomfortable for me. You shed your blood for me so I could shed my opinion for you. You shed your blood for me so I could shed my comfort zone for you. You shed your blood for me so I shed my inconvenience to you or my convenience to you, Jesus. Lord God, I receive the mission in my heart this morning to follow you into your harvest come on church let's pray in that vein one more time and and you don't have to be all emotional about it but we have to be honest about it it's going to be uncomfortable at some times and sometimes it's going to feel straight up not spiritual but when you step out in faith God will honor it Father we come to you this morning one more time in this united prayer and we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that with every spirit of fear timidity, cowardice frustration, hesitation lack of understanding, knowledge whatever would want to be a stumbling block for us, obeying you to be a laborer in the harvest Lord, we put it off to the side now in Jesus name and we receive the baptism Lord God of the mission to follow you into your harvest come on let's lift our voices together you've got to put a voice to your faith, you've got to put a voice to your faith and say, I'm going to have victory in Jesus' name. I'm going to triumph in Jesus' name.